Hi, my name is Lawal McCray Sr. I'm the head football coach at Blanche Ely High School. We're located in Pompano Beach, Florida. Let's talk about some of the NFL face mask guidelines and rules. The NFL decided to implement the face mask to help prevent the players from head injuries. The very beginning of football, it was only a covering for the head. Initially, the leather helmet, and then it went on to become more of a plastic or hard casing they used. The last part of that was the face mask, which can consist of between one to four bars covering the face. And once again, it was implemented for the safety of the players. Now, there are rules to help put even additional, to protect the players in addition, such as the opposing team cannot grab or pull on the helmet or face mask of another player. If they do, they will receive a 15-yard penalty. If it's deemed to be intentional, today in the NFL, the player will get fined for pulling or twisting a person's head by using the face mask. Despite all the, the protection and equipment that have been instituted over the years to protect the players, players still get hurt in this great game of football. Injuries are just part of the game. And some people wonder why do players still want to play this game when you may be severely injured. One thing the history of football has shown that the, the owners of these teams, the coaches, do everything they possibly can to protect the players and keep them safe. The players have a desire to play the game because they love of, of their, and their competitive nature. I believe that's a human instinct that started from the time of the gladiators. And today, young people still enjoy the game because of the competitive nature and also to help get the energy out and being part of a team. And noting that with all these safety measures that are in place, the injuries have minimized over the years.